Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hello, everybody, and hi, John. Always great to see you. What, what's going on? Hi, Art. Good to see you, and thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, Art, I have an interesting subject for us to discuss today. I know well, you have... Well, uh, I'll wait to, to pass judgment on that. <laughs> I know you have some old friends that you've kept in touch with, school friends. I like to think of um, them as long-term friends. Oh, that's a good way to do it. I just got back in touch with a guy that I went to grammar school with. I think we were buddies in about the fifth grade. Wow. And we just hooked up on uh, Facebook, I think it was. So now we're going to start corresponding and get back in touch. But I was amazed at how um, people don't change. I mean, he's still the same crazy guy that he was in fifth grade. I'm sure I'm still the same. Um, but we can hit it off after 50 years or whatever mm. it is. Uh, and I just think that friendship is really an interesting phenomenon uh, that you can have a friend and you lose touch, you move away, whatever happens over the years, whether they're grammar school friends or high school friends or college friends. And, um, and, and it, sometimes it's just like it never changed. Nothing ever changed. It's kind of interesting that you bring that up because uh, I've actually never gone to a... Uh a high school reunion or college reunion. Oh. Uh, but I know a lot of people who have, and you, you hear a lot of stories about how different everybody is. Uh, maybe that expectation of, uh, are they still, you know, the same? First of all, there many of them are uh, uh, heavier and uh, the skin drooped a little bit and the hair is not really what it was. And they're doing all sorts of different things and who knows sure. what they've done that you don't know. But uh, I, I, I do agree that there are certain uh, friendships, long-term friendships, uh, that uh, are it just like you may not speak to them for every three, four, five years or longer, and the conversation just sort of picks up. Yeah. Uh, I, have, I have a good friend, uh, uh, to protect the innocent, I'll just use a first name. I have a friend, uh, uh, Barry, like that. We have best college buddies. Uh, we did a lot of late night studying together with White Castles, uh, uh, and sometimes all nighters. And, Sliders, uh, yeah. The... Yeah, and we, we both married and kids and grandkids and everything else. And uh, it just you pick up the conversation like it it was yesterday. Yep, yep. Well, there's something. It's not about um, commonality anymore. I mm. mean, you know, you were friends because you were in the same school or you hung out together or you've lived next door to each right. other or something like that. You had something in common. Um, and now it's not about that. It's about personality. You, you, what the friendship really was, was two people connecting somehow, same sense of humor, same sense of fun. They like to do the same thing, shoot pool, go to the movies, whatever it was, drive cars. Um, and that doesn't change. The personality doesn't change. Um, I'm not sure that, uh, uh, you know, that we're all so different. I think the basic people are the same. Uh, if you if you didn't like somebody in high school, there's a good chance you still won't like them today. Uh, <laughs> right. It's, I, it's like uh, P Peter Paul Mounds. And what was the other one? You either like uh, almonds or not. Um, or, or you like, you know, you like, uh, you like uh, a shredded uh, coconut or not. Okay, yeah. so that, that just doesn't change. Yeah, yeah. But it's an interesting phenomenon. Do you? And I've been to a number of reunions, mm. um, and my college fiftieth reunion mm. was the best. Unfortunately, I couldn't be there for the whole weekend. I just showed up for the main banquet kind of thing, so I didn't get to really enjoy it, everybody's company as much as I would have liked to. But um, that was a wonderful reunion. Uh, seeing people that I hadn't seen in fifty years. Um, I just, that, I thought that was fabulous. I'd love to do it again, but my college was on the East Coast and I'm on the West Coast, so that's yeah. not going to happen too often. There's a phenomenon today uh, that didn't exist back in the day, so for some of us, uh, uh, we only get to see each other every so often. But Facebook, now with Facebook, if, if uh, you are a high schooler or a middle schooler, uh, yep. you probably have Facebook or Instagram or whatever, uh, maybe of the moment, but those contacts for the most part last forever so it's yeah. like 
even though you may not uh, communicate so much, you at least see them all the time. So it's not like this shock value of uh, seeing a, the guy that had a full head of hair that has no hair. Or, you know, uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, you get to see them age a little bit uh, along the way. Uh, yeah. So I don't know that it would be as shocking uh, today. But uh, for, for me, maybe similar to what you have is, uh, and again, because of Facebook and social media, I found a whole, when I, my college, uh, Pace uh, University, uh, had houseplants. We didn't have fraternities. And uh, we had, uh, uh, like so many people will brag, that we had a house plan that was the model for uh, uh, some of the, uh, uh, the, the movies that came out about fraternities and things like that. Right. Uh, Animal House. Yeah. And, uh, but we truly were with motorcycles on the first floor and uh, during date nights and things like that. But I've begun to reconnect with uh, people and even meet them that I hadn't seen in maybe 40 years. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, they, they're pretty much the same. It's just interesting things they've done in their life. But uh, we were able to pick up conversations with Jean, who now lives in Australia, uh, and happened to be in the U.S. when we met in L.A. Uh, when he was passing through for a couple of hours. And he's the same Jean, older, yeah. but the same Jean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, that's a good thing, I think. I, know, I that agree. We, that we can uh, count on our friends. And, of course, the people we bonded with, you know, 10, 30, 50 years ago, we probably did that because we had something in common, some simpatico. We liked each other. We were, even the word friendship means that you're willing to support them and they would be willing to support you. And I think that's that's the bond that lasts. That's mm -hmm. what we're we're all looking for. And that's what um, doesn't change. Actually, it'd be know? interesting for uh, uh, anybody in our audience who could send us maybe the the weirdest, longest uh, uh, lack of relationship they have with somebody or big change that uh, they hadn't been in touch with people for years and then ran across and what that was like for the good, the bad, or the ugly. I'd right. love to hear those stories and maybe uh, sure. share them with uh, an uh, anonymity so that uh, we protect the innocent. Any good uh, reunion story would be welcome. Right. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, in the meantime, uh, Art, you and I, I'll see you in five years. Uh, yeah, uh, and in between, maybe every Monday. <laughs> okay, it's a deal. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great week. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.